30 miles north of Turin, Italy, buried deep under the foothills of the Alps, enlightenment awaits. Under an unassuming suburban house in northern Italy is a giant series of underground chambers dug by a group of non-architects working around the clock over 15 years. The project was done in total secrecy. It has become known as the eighth wonder of the world. I'm talking about the Temple of Domino. It was a warm August night when Alberto Araudi and his believers sat in his backyard at the foothills of the Alps. They watched a falling star shoot through the sky and decided now was an auspicious time to begin their project. So with simple chisels and hammers, they began to dig into the rock. It's a massive and intricately decorated underground complex spreading over 300,000 cubic meters connected by hundreds of meters of tunnels and on five different levels. The structure contains a large number of rooms, some with ceilings of over 25 feet tall. One room is a four-sided pyramid covered in mirrors and topped with a glass dome. The ceiling of a room called the Hall of Spheres is covered entirely in gold leaf and the walls and floors are done in intricate murals and mosaics, all done by Oberto's followers. And the project stayed secret for over 15 years. But the jig was up. The Italian police were onto them. Show us these temples or we will dynamite the entire hillside. This is what the Italian police said to Oberto in 1992. And so Oberto dutifully complied and opened the doors to let them in. The entire massive complex has a distinctly 1970s new age kind of feel to it. And it's said to correspond with a journey into oneself. According According to Alberto, this all started when he was a child, and he had visions which contained a great temple filled with people living in harmonious and idyllic existence together. It was his goal to recreate those dreams, and that was what he's attempting to do with the Temple of Dominhur. Once the Italian government knew of its existence, they ordered it destroyed. But an outcry from the locals reversed the decision, and the government even went on to say, keep building, make it bigger. Oberto has since passed away, but the work continues. There are now tens of thousands of followers all over the world, and the temple is their mecca. Cult or not, one of the fundamental philosophies of Damanhur is that individuals are capable of much more than they realize. And certainly, the temple is a testament to what a small group of true believers can accomplish. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. So I'm gonna to link to the former member's site. It's called Dom and Her Inside Out. It's a fascinating look into the cult aspects of the group. And Vice made an incredible documentary about them. It's long, but if you want a lot more of the tunnels and murals, it's really worth watching.